guys, it's me, Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great start to your day. I am here today to do my pre-Walt Disney World clothing haul. Basically, these are all the clothes that I bought for my upcoming trip in July, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to show you what I plan to wear at each park and how I accessorize them with my Mickey or Minnie ears. I have a serious, serious obsession with Mickey and Minnie ears, and I like to call and coordinate all of my outfits to my ears. That's just one of my little quirks, so I can't really help it. But if you're interested in this video, stick around. If you have any other additional questions or concerns, ask them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them back as soon as possible. Let's move right into this video. So for day one, this is the day that we're flying into Orlando. We have to go to the hotel and check in. So we're really only going to get a half a day at the park. We're choosing that half a day at the park to be at Magic Kingdom. And I am wearing this tank top that I got from Target with Mickey printed on it. I am wearing these custom made Mickey ears that I actually made myself. If you're interested in making your own Mickey ears, I have a video on that and I will link that in the description below. And along with this, I am pairing it off with a pair of black ripped jean shorts. And then along with that, I'm wearing my red Converse's. Day two, we're heading back to Magic Kingdom. I find that when I'm in Magic Kingdom, I get the most direct sunlight through all of their parades that they have outside and all of the events that they have outside. So I try to wear the most lightweight clothing when I'm in Magic Kingdom. So for day two, I am wearing this extremely, extremely thin, lightweight black dress that I bought from uh, Forever 21. And it just crosses over on the top. It ties in the back. It's very, very open. I'll be pairing this with a black lace bandeau bra. And like I said, it's extremely, extremely lightweight. I remember wearing this last year when I went to Walt Disney World and I sweat like crazy and it's very sweat resistant. It kind of just soaked it up and then five minutes later it dried itself off. So along with this dress, I am wearing these fake toms, if you want to call it that. I bought these from Rue 21. They're very comfortable. Um, I haven't worn this pair yet, as you can tell, but I bought another pair in tan, and I wore them all when I was in San Francisco. They're extremely, extremely comfortable, and I like that they're lacy, so it just lets the air flow right on through. And then along with that, I am pairing it off with my sequin mini ears that I got from Walt Disney World. Day three, we're heading into Hollywood Studios. For day three, I bought this white lace peplum top and I bought this at Target just a couple of days ago, so it should still be there if you're interested in this. It just flows out on the bottom. Again, very, very lightweight. Lightweight is the name of the game when you're going to Walt Disney World because it is extremely hot and very humid over there. So you want to wear the thinnest, lightweight clothes that you possibly can. It has a fun little racer back top and it just has a lace little awning that goes straight down the middle. Along with this shirt, I am wearing a pair of jean shorts that I bought from Target. And then I'm also wearing the best Mickey ears that I've ever purchased. I bought these on Amazon. They're little donut ears. They're actually not even Disney related. This comes from an anime character. I don't even know the name of it, my apologies. But yeah, I saw A, I'm obsessed with donuts, B, I'm obsessed with Disney. I had to have this purchase. So these are just a little pair of donut Mickey ears that I'm wearing with it. And are you ready for it? I am pairing this whole outfit with my newest favorite sneakers. These are the Vans Disney Princess sneakers. Vans just released an entire Disney line. And I just saw these and my heart melted. Again, these are just the Vans Disney Princess sneakers and it has all the Disney princesses on them. And they're all just jumbled together and they're just so cute. So I'm gonna be wearing this with that outfit. So for day four, we're heading into Epcot, and I figured what a better place to wear an American flag shirt and represent your country than going to Epcot, where they have the World Showcase, where they showcase all the countries across the world. So I bought this American flag shirt from Pink in Victoria's Secret. It is really sparkly and sequin, and it's really, really cute. They showed the model kind of like tying this up on the side, which I thought was really cute as well. So I'll be wearing this American flag tank top and I'm pairing it off with another pair of ripped cut off jean shorts and I bought these from TJ Maxx and I'll be pairing those off with my red Converse's again and the pair of Mickey ears that I'll be wearing is just the classic Mickey Mouse hat that I bought at Walt Disney World as well. Day five, we're heading into Animal Kingdom in the morning and I bought this off-white lace dress from Forever 21. It has lace going across the front, lace on the bottom, and it has a row of buttons going right down the middle, which I thought were really cute. Again, it's very, very flowy and very, very lightweight. For shoes, I am wearing these fake Sperry's that I got at Payless. I ended up getting these during the BOGO sale, so they were super, super cheap. And my favorite ears, 
I will be wearing these cheetah print Minnie Mouse ears and I actually made these as well. Again, I will link that video in the description below if you're interested in seeing how I made these custom made Mickey or Minnie ears. So day five at nighttime, Adam and I are actually celebrating our anniversary out there. We're going to one of the nicer restaurants in Walt Disney World, so I wanted something that was going to be a little nicer. We had our very first date in June, and we became exclusive or official or whatever you want to call it in August. So we're basically taking both of those days and squishing it together and celebrating while we're out there in July. Like I said, we're going to one of the nicer restaurants in Walt Disney World, so I wanted something a little classier and a little more sophisticated. So I ended up finding this really adorable, awesome print romper from Kohl's. It has a whole Hawaiian theme in my personal opinion. It's really, really cute. It's backwards actually. So yeah, it's just a little tube top romper. And I don't have shoes yet for this, but I'm assuming I'm just gonna buy some black strappy sandals but I'm going to be accessorizing by wearing these diamond, yeah, okay, diamond, just kidding, these rhinestone Mickey ears that I bought off of Amazon. Day six, the very last day in the parks for us, it's going to be spent at Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom is my all-time favorite park, so I always feel like I need to end my vacation there. Like I said, Magic Kingdom is the park that I feel like I get the most direct sunlight, so again, I'll be wearing something lightweight, and for that day, I purchased this black tube top shorts romper. I purchased this from Rainbow Shops. I don't know if that's just a New England thing, but they do have a website if you want to check them out. Again, it's very, very lightweight, very thin, and very movable, but it's just a tube top and it has some shorts. Along with this, I will be wearing the fake lace toms again that I got from Rue 21, and quite possibly one of the, my favorite Mickey or mini ears that I bought. I bought these from Etsy. I don't remember the name of the person that I purchased this from, but I'll look it up and put it in the description below. But these are up theme. They have the clouds, the little house with all the balloons, and then the little grape soda pin. I just love these so much. And again, these are from Etsy. And for day seven, our very last day in Orlando, we'll just be spending it in downtown Disney, shopping around and going to some of the restaurants. And I bought this white sheer open back top with a little lace print, and I got this at Forever 21. I'll be wearing this with a pair of pink cutoff shorts, also from Forever 21. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to be doing for shoes yet. I'm either going to wear my tan Sperry's or my Disney Vans print. I'm leaning more towards the Disney Van print just because when in Rome or when in Disney. And I will be accessorizing these with my Minnie Mouse butterfly ears that I bought in Walt Disney World. The only thing I have to say about these is I'm probably going to cut this back part off for two reasons. I wore these last year when I went to Walt Disney World and it just made me feel like I was a bride the whole time. It kind of looks like the one that the brides would wear and I don't want anybody thinking that I'm a bride yet. And also, this part is very thick, so I remember my back just getting very, very sweaty. It was constantly just touching my back. So I haven't decided yet. I don't really want to cut it open, but I might just cut this back part off and just keep the sequin mini ears. And that's it. That's everything I plan on wearing to Walt Disney World and everything in my pre-Walt Disney World clothing haul. I really hope you enjoyed all the outfits that I showed you today. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I would love to hear. Thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I would truly appreciate it. And as always, I love you guys so much and I hope that you're having a beautiful start to your summer. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!